Well, enjoy him while he's here, folks, because you never know if this will be the last time we see Nate Diaz in the UFC with a fan base really as big as any fighter in the sport. Diaz is back tonight, and we're glad to see him. Stop to stand up. <laughs> this guy has a cult following. He is one of the most interesting guys in the UFC because he has the sense that he really doesn't care to be here, but he also doesn't feel as comfortable anywhere but in the octagon. So it's a love-hate relationship with fighting for Nate Diaz. When he's happy, when he's best, he's fighting in the UFC. A guy that boxes, unbelievable, but I think it's the attitude of Nate Diaz that has made him into one of the biggest stars that we've ever seen in the Oscars. He had a couple of life-changing paydays against Conor McGregor, the win at UFC 196, the majority decision loss at UFC 202. Which to this day he says he won, right? He thinks he won that fight. But one thing goes without saying, and I'll say it anyway, when Nate Diaz fights, the world is watching, and that is the case yet again here tonight. One of the most popular fighters on this roster, top to bottom, the former UFC welterweight champion, ruthless Robbie Lawler, made the UFC debut, how about May 10th, 2002, at UFC 37 against Aaron Wright. And right away, you had his coaches saying, this kid's gonna be a future UFC champion. He had all the ability, he had the wrestling chops, he had the striking, but he also had that meanness and that toughness that you look for in a fighter. And when he got back to the UFC after he left strike force, the knockout of Josh Koscheck, and then the head kick of Bobby Bowser, you knew you were looking at a different Robbie Law. His fight against Roy McDonald, UFC 189, July of 2015, one of the best, most memorable fights in UFC history. Waller looking to add to his appreciable legacy here tonight. Robbie Law, ready to engage in another high-profile matchup here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. It's who is he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Nate Diaz. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight Champion of the world, Ruthless Robbie Lawler! Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this right. one. Ready. All right, so here we go with this stand-up only encounter. We'll see if these guys can play by the rules. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Straight placement on that uppercut. Can barely get the fight clock sponsor out. These gentlemen are going out. They are here to fight tonight. I cannot wait for this fight to continue. Nice block. All right, early in the fight here, and Nate Diaz off to a pretty good start, found a home for that left hand. I mean, it is powerful. It does not seem like Nate is throwing it hard, but he always finds his target is very accurate with that straight left hand. So he kind of feeds the right hand to get you moving where he wants, and then bang, he drops that straight left on you that hurts so many. Hurt Conor McGregor, and he hurt the welterweight champion, Leon Edwards, in the same way. And that one certainly found the target. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with it. Oh! Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Oh! Oh, 
nice combination. Diaz gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guards in. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Strong, straight left there. When he gets close and he throws, he lands. Nice straight left. 30 total strikes have now landed for Robbie Lawler. Diaz's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Oh, big elbow. Oh, big hook, that'll sting. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Big right hand. So a strong five minutes down. All right, there's the horn, the round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool, cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. Lawler's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush, be patient, and in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Oh, nice look there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been shot. Cat and mouth, you gotta pull cat and mouth. Hit, don't get hit, he does a straight job. Lawler's taking aim at that cut right now, DC, and you gotta admire the fighter IQ, right? Might as well keep landing strikes on a target that you have damaged repeatedly throughout the fight. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has gotta figure some things out defensively, or this fight. There it is again. Gets caught by that straight hand. Nice separation from his clinch position. Oh! Back to his feet. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that.
we get the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ruthless Robbie All right, so the former UFC welterweight champion, ruthless Robbie Lawler, getting his hand raised here tonight, and that's about as much of a celebration as you're going to see out of ruthless Robbie Lawler. Yeah, he's pretty happy. Much, he won't get much from Robbie, and that's why we love him, right? He's no nonsense. He's all business. He's here for a job, and once he gets it done, Robbie's back off the floor to defeat this man.